Hello everyone. Welcome to deep learning section of Big Data Analytics course done by Professor Jeffrey Fox. I'm the teaching assistant for the class. So we'll be discussing on some of the concepts regarding deep neural networks. Let's get started. So there are different types of uh, deep neural networks that I'll be discussing in the series of lectures. So we'll be discussing on multi-layer perceptron, convolution neural networks, and some of the techniques used to optimize the neural networks like dropout. And we'll also discuss about time series analysis with uh, LSTM, RNN. We won't go into much details of these networks, uh, but we'll discuss how these things can be used to implement different uh, types of neural networks to solve different problems. For instance, if you use the autoencoder to denoise an image, uh, which already has some noise, uh, a random noise or a Gaussian noise, you can create a neural network and re uh, remove that noise. Same goes for a audio or video signal with some noises. And there are very interesting type of neural networks which can create new images uh, new audios, new videos uh, by learning from existing videos and audios and also from images. So we'll be discussing some basic concepts of these networks. We won't be going into much details in how to implement in these things but we'll discuss how different kinds of deep neural networks can be used to uh, complete some of the challenging tasks in the modern day. So let's get started. As I explained earlier, uh, we will be discussing multi-layer perceptron, convolution neural networks, dropout for regularization, max pooling. So these two techniques uh, will be mostly focused on uh, reducing some overheads in training and getting us better results. And we'll be also discussing some concepts on uh, recurrent neural networks, uh, LSTM, uh, GRUs, autoencoders, transformers, GANG, and some of the basic concepts of deep reinforcement learning as well. So you can find some reference material that we have put here. So you can go ahead and click these links and uh, you can find some other articles and other references which can provide you uh, better understanding on these concepts. So the first one that we are going to discuss is the multi-layer perceptron. The multi-layer perceptron uh, is a set of uh, layers of neural network which helps you to get a specific task done. So in this one, we'll be using uh, a set of deep neural network layers uh, to do a classification on, on MNIST dataset. In a previous lecture, we discussed how we used MNIST is it, which is uh, a handwritten numbers. So we train a, a neural network so that it can learn to recognize different numbers. In here, what we have done is we added more layers. If you take a look at the previous code, in there we only use a single dense layer, activation layer, another, another dense layer uh, with the number of uh, classes and we followed by a softmax layer. And that's the only things uh, we included in the network. But here, we have included a dense layer followed by activation layer and dropout layer. So this dropout layer, uh, that's a good thing when it comes to the gradient vanishing. So the gradient vanishing is like when you have more and more ne uh, layers in your deep neural network, what happens is like in the back propagation step, it calculates the gradient. So this gradient uh, cease to uh, go to zero value when it ha when it has more and more layers by consuming uh, the concept of dropout we can avoid this so this is a very useful technique uh, that can be used to uh, regularize the deep neural networks to avoid this issue and here we have added uh, a few dense layers followed by activation layer and a dropout layer and finally, as same as in the, pre, uh, the first example we discussed, we have a softmax layer, which gives us different classes, probabilities for different classes, and the rest of the code is same. So this is classification using more layers of, uh, different layers of deep neural networks. So we have 
dense layer, activation layer, dropout. So we have a s different stack on top of each layer to create a very deep neural network. So there's no limit of adding these layers it depends on your problem it depends on the way you see the problem how you need to solve it but the thing is when you have uh, when you add more and more layers the training time will be increasing so for the code uh, you can download the ipython notebook and uh, the script python script from these links to do the same thing with convolution neural networks uh, we can also create a stack of convolution layers which is stacked upon each layer uh, to solve the same problem so we'll be doing the MNIST problem we'll be solving the classification problem by using convolution layers so here uh, there are some specific features that you need to pay attention here you can see the kernel size pool size filters and dropout so dropout is the same thing we introduced earlier so the kernel size means uh, in convolution what happens is you have to con uh, do a convolution operation over an image or over a set of uh, matrices. So here, you need to select a filter. So here, the filter size, we select is 3 by 3. Generally, this should be a square shape filter. So we select 3 by 3 filter here. And the pool size is like uh, here, you add a max pooling layer. We'll be discussing about these uh, pooling layers uh, in following slides. So you need to specify what's the pool size we'll be discussing in the uh, section we discuss more on convolution layers so here we stack a set of convolution layer followed by a max pooling layer and finally we uh, make it flatten because we need to get the probabilities of each class as we are predicting uh, the numbers uh, finally we have the softmax layer and you get the same output here